So sum of the roots and product of the roots. What is sum of the roots? Minus B by A. Product of the roots? C by A. We don't know direct value of alpha square beta and beta square alpha. What we'll do? We'll convert it into sum and product. It is very easy. So dear students, here they gave a quadratic equation AX square plus BX plus C equal to zero. For that, first you should find sum of roots and product of roots. You know a square plus b square can be written as it's a part of a plus b the whole square. What is a plus b the whole square? a square plus b square plus 2ab. So in this, remove 2ab. Welcome to the session, dear students. Today I'll go ahead with problems of theory of equations of x i's 6.2. So now if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 then find the value of 1 plus alpha into 1 plus beta. Before we go to this the very first basic you should know sum of the roots and product of the roots. Dear students so for any quadratic equation for any quadratic equation sum of the roots is given by so sum of the roots alpha plus beta is minus b by a and product of the roots alpha into beta is c by a. This is a basic what you should become thorough. So sum of the roots and product of the roots. What is sum of the roots? Minus b by a. Product of the roots c by a. b means what? Quotient of x. a means what? Quotient of x square. c means constant. So these are the two basics which we use to solve the problems. So first one is sum of the roots. What is sum of the roots? Minus b by a. What is product of the roots? c by a. Coming to this, if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, find the value of 1 plus alpha into 1 plus beta. So now I will consider what is given 1 plus alpha into 1 plus beta. Simplify this. 1 into 1 is 1 plus 1 into beta is beta plus alpha into 1 is alpha plus alpha into beta is alpha beta. So now we have done this that is 1 plus alpha plus beta u group plus alpha into beta. So 1 plus sum of the roots into product of the roots that is 1 plus alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta means what? Minus b by a plus product of the roots alpha into beta is c by a. For the simplify this, it will become 1 minus b by a plus c by a. So take LCM, 1 minus b by a plus c by a. So if I take LCM, LCM is what? a and a into 1 is a minus b plus c or we can say a plus b my a plus c minus b divided by a if you rearrange or a minus b plus c this is the value of what 1 plus alpha into 1 plus beta we want you to find the value of 1 plus alpha into 1 plus beta so it's the value of what 1 plus alpha into 1 plus beta this is 1 plus alpha into what 1 plus beta so dear students here they gave a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 for that first you should find sum of roots and product of roots. Sum of roots alpha plus beta. What is alpha plus beta? Alpha plus beta is minus b by a. So in the place of alpha plus beta I am putting minus b by a plus we have product of roots alpha into beta. What is alpha into beta? c by a. In the place of alpha into beta I am putting c by a. Then simplify this you will get the required value. So you can write 1 a minus b plus c by a or you can say a plus c minus b by a. Further, if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, then find the value of alpha by beta square plus beta by alpha square. So now we will simplify this. They gave alpha by beta square plus beta by alpha square. So let us take LCM that is alpha by beta square plus beta by alpha square. So what is the LCM for these two? LCM is beta square into alpha square cross multiply alpha square into alpha is alpha cube plus beta square into beta is beta cube. Further numerator is in the form a cube plus b cube 
Dear students, a cube plus b cube can be written as a plus b the whole cube that is alpha plus beta the whole cube minus 3 alpha beta into alpha plus beta. So, I am using the identity and denominator beta square alpha square I can write it as alpha into beta or beta into alpha the whole square. Here two basics we are using. What are the basics we are using? Basic number one that is a cube plus b cube in mathematics can be written as a plus b the whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b. First you should be thorough with this identity. So a cube plus b cube can also be written as a plus b the whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b the 3ab into a plus b. So that basic helps you to write the answers easily. Now you know alpha plus beta means what? Sum of the roots. What is sum of the roots? So from here it is easy. So alpha plus beta is sum of the roots that is minus b by a whole cube minus 3 times alpha beta. Alpha beta is what? C by a into again alpha plus beta is minus b by a divided by we have alpha into beta. Product of roots is C by a the whole square. Simplify numerator minus b cube divided by a cube minus into minus becomes plus 3 bc divided by a square divided by c square by a square. Further for numerator you take LCM that is LCM for a cube and a square is a cube and here minus b cube plus 3 abc divided by in denominator it is what c square by a square. Further you can simplify numerator I will rewrite it as 3abc minus bq. First I will write positive term then I will write negative term by a cube into this denominator c square by a square if you take it to numerator to become a square by c square. So now a square and a cancels we are left out with 3abc minus b cube divided by a c square. So because one a cancels so this is the answer. This is what they want you to calculate. They want you to calculate what? Alpha by beta square plus beta by alpha square. So alpha by beta square plus beta by alpha square. If you take LCM, alpha square beta square and it will become alpha cube plus beta cube. Alpha cube plus beta cube can be written as alpha plus beta the whole cube minus 3 times alpha beta into alpha plus beta. See dear students, any problem first we have to convert it into sum of the roots and product of the roots because we have formula for sum of the roots and product of the roots. What is sum of the roots? minus b by a. What is product of roots? c by a. For any quadratic equation it holds good. So here after simplification we are left out with this. I hope all of you understood this. Then if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation 2x square plus 4x plus 1 equal to 0 find the value of alpha square beta plus beta square alpha. So dear students first we will get the value of alpha plus beta. What is meant by alpha plus beta? Sum of the roots that is minus b by a. That is in this problem alpha plus beta is minus b by a. So quadratic equation is in the form ax square plus bx plus c. What is a? a is quotient of x square that is 2. What is b? 4. What is c? 1. So minus b by a that is minus 4 divided by 2. So alpha plus beta becomes minus 2. Call it as 1. So now you got alpha plus beta value. Similarly product of roots. Alpha into beta c by a. Product of roots is c by a. So alpha into beta becomes c by a. What is c here? 1 divided by 2. 1 by 2. So now you got product of roots also. So sum of roots you know. Product of roots you know. So now we can go ahead with what? Alpha square beta plus beta square alpha. Alpha square beta plus beta square alpha. So now in these two. We don't know direct value of alpha square beta and beta square alpha. What we'll do, we'll convert it into sum and product. It is very easy. Observe, we'll take common. I'll take alpha, beta, common from both. Here alpha is gone, so one alpha is left out. Beta we have taken out plus. Here beta, one beta we have taken, so one beta will be left out. Alpha is already out. So this alpha square beta plus beta square alpha can be written as alpha beta into alpha plus beta. And you know alpha beta value. What is alpha beta value? Product of roots is 1 by 2. So in the place of alpha beta, I will write 1 by 2. You know alpha plus beta, that is minus 2. 
So it will become 2, 2 cancels, it will be minus 1. Min half into minus 2 is minus 1. Here again we use what? Sum of the roots and product of roots. Then going ahead, for uh, if alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation, 2x square plus 4x plus 1, find the value of alpha power minus 2 plus beta power minus 2. They want the value of alpha power minus 2 plus beta power minus 2. This is the question. So in order to find this, first by method of comparison, what is A? A is 2. What is B? Quotient of x that is 4. What is C? 1. First you find sum of roots, alpha plus beta. Alpha plus beta formula is minus B by A. That is alpha plus beta is in this problem minus B means minus 4 divided by 2. Alpha plus beta becomes minus 2. Sum of the roots is minus 2. Well, let us one. Then you for, go for product of roots, alpha into beta, C by A. What is alpha into beta? 1 by C is 1 by 2. Product of roots also, you know, you know, sum of roots is minus 2 and product of roots is 1 by 2. But what they want you to find? They want alpha power minus 2 plus beta power minus 2. Can I write it as 1 by alpha square plus 1 by beta square? Further, if I take LCM for this, it will become alpha square beta square and cross multiply I can write beta square plus alpha square or I can write alpha square plus beta square divided by alpha beta the whole square but we don't have direct formula for alpha square plus beta square so what we should use again we'll use identity we have seen last problem we converted a cube plus b cube now we can write a square plus b square you know a square plus b square can be written as it's a part of a plus b the whole square what is a plus b the whole square a square plus b square plus 2ab so in this remove 2ab so a plus b the a square plus b square can be written as a plus b the whole square minus 2ab same way alpha square plus beta square you can write it as alpha plus beta the whole square in that remove what 2ab 2 alpha beta divided by denominator same alpha beta the whole square so numerator is what alpha plus beta the whole square minus 2 times alpha beta. So now what is alpha plus beta the whole square? Minus b by a. So minus b by a value also we know. So this is minus b by a and we got alpha plus beta. In this problem already we calculated just we will substitute the values. So now let us substitute the values. So if you see what is alpha beta half alpha plus beta minus 2. So alpha plus beta is minus 2 the whole square minus 2 times alpha beta is 1 by 2 divided by again alpha beta is 1 by 2 the whole square. I am substituting the values what we have found out. So in the last case we got alpha plus beta is what? Minus b by a that gives you minus 2 and what is alpha into beta? 1 by 2. In the place of alpha into beta substitute the value of alpha into beta and in the place of alpha plus beta substitute the value of alpha plus beta. Minus 2 the whole square becomes 4. Minus 2, 2 cancels it will be 1 divided by 1 by 4. 1 square is 1 and 3 divided by 1 by 4. 3 by 4 can be written as 3 by 1, 3 by 1 by 4 or I can write it as 3 into 4 that is 12. So I hope all of you got this. Yes. Denominator will transfer it to numerator 1 by 4 it becomes 12. I hope all of you got this then we have See, in today's session, the basics, see, direct problems were not there. So, the basics, just let me summarize what we have learned. So, for any quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, we can, we'll have two roots, we call them as alpha and beta, and some of the roots is minus b by a, means quotient of x by quotient of a. And the second one is product of roots, alpha into beta is c by a. These are the two basics. Only this two we'll use to solve the problems of whatever we have done. The same kind we have further more problems we'll do. And in between we use identities. So what are the identities? Algebraic identities we can use that is a cube plus b cube means simplifications. a cube plus b cube can be written as a plus b the whole cube minus 3 times a b into a plus b. And further a square plus b square. a square plus b square also we can write it as a plus b the whole square minus 2ab. These are the two identities. I hope all of you understood this. Thanks for attending.